share With a dash of this and a pinch of that Mixed all up with care The best company and conversation Recipes and new creations We're cooking up something good here at home We are cooking up something good here at home Well, hello family. Welcome to At Home Today. We're so glad you decided to drop by. It's always good when the family gets together, particularly when you're here. Because, you know, I always say at the end of the program, it just wouldn't be the same without you. Well, I really mean that. And you're not here. We miss you. So we're glad that when you come by, uh, you can watch and get some ideas. And today, we're doing breakfast ideas. You know, the kids are getting back to school. And sometimes it's nice to start out with a nice breakfast for the kids. Or if you're having, you know, Paul and I love to entertain our friends and have them over for breakfast because it's just a, a nice and no rush thinking, oh, you know, we have to get home, we have to get home. You know, it's the beginning of the day and everybody's usually fresh and happy and, you know, bubbly and all of that. So you might want to think of some of our ideas today as a means to entertain with. They certainly are a variety. We're even going to show you how to make homemade breakfast sausage. Hmm and uh, a lot of other goodies. You know, breakfast is a really important uh, meal of the day. Uh, when I was a kid, I could not eat breakfast. I just, I could my mother would be prevailing uh, upon me all the time. My dad would be lecturing me, that's important. But you know what, I would drink this much of a glass of milk and run out the door to school. That was it, I couldn't get anything more done. But as you get older and you start to read, you realize that for a balance of your metabolism, your whole body functions, everything, you need, to eat proportionately throughout the day. Some people are even saying five small meals are better than three larger ones. And I think breakfast is a good way to start the day. Fresh orange juice or pineapple juice or whatever kind of juice, cranberry, whatever you like. And then some good, wholesome fiber, good cereal or, or just some special things. It's all a good way to start the day. Of course, even more than that, the best way to start the day is with a little time with the Lord. Just spending it with Him, just in a quiet meditation, reading some scripture, and praying what's in your heart to the Lord, the day always goes better when you've spent your time with the Lord first. Sometimes, you know, he impresses in my heart something when I'm spending that time that I will pull on during the rest of the day. And I'll say, oh, but Lord, you, you reminded me of that this morning in our quiet time, in our devotions. And it's wonderful to know that the Lord is lingering close to you and his presence is near. So stay with us. We're going to have our at-home hint. And when we come back, we're starting our breakfast ideas for you and your family. Stay with us. Here's today's at-home hint. When baking cakes, pies, or breads, always preheat the oven to the desired temperature. If you don't preheat for 15 minutes, your baked goods will be underbaked and dough will be soggy and the batter will be raw, not edible. If you've got a helpful hint, we want to hear from you. Send your hint to At Home Hints, Cornerstone Television, Wall, Pennsylvania, 15148-1499. Well, Patty, we're going to do breakfast today. Yes, we are. And we want to show you a lot of different things. You're going to start with a buttery crumb cake. Unusual, because you do it not in a 13 by 9, but, but no. this is in a uh, like a jelly roll pan? Right, jelly roll pan. And this is not a high. This is a crumb cake, a buttery crumb cake, a breakfast cake, like uh, with cinnamon and all that good stuff. Okay, how are you going to get started here? You first start off with a cake mix, which makes life real nice and That's easy. like a yellow cake mix Right, like yellow that. cake okay. mix. And all you do is add three eggs and some water um, and butter and mix it all up, and then you start your crumb topping. Okay, well, while you do that, I'm going to show you what to do making your own homemade sausage. I have two pounds of ground pork. As lean as you can get it. If you want to even grind your own, get a pork butt and, and grind it up if you have a mixer that you can allow that. This is two pounds. And then I'm going to mix the seasonings in a bowl and then mix it in with the pork. So we have some dried sage, two teaspoons dry sage, two teaspoons of, this is kosher salt, some brown sugar, just a tablespoon. We have marjoram, dried marjoram. We have black pepper, this is, yeah, ground black pepper. We have a pinch of cloves and a little bit, an eighth of a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, just to give it a little tang, that's all. 
this. I can't wait to try it, huh? I know. Go yeah, ahead. My, my crew will like it. I didn't yeah. want to start a mixer with you. Well, that's all right. Not a problem. We've done this before. <laughs> God knows we've done this before. Nobody heard what we said for a long time. <laughs> but anyway, you know, what I like about this, you can control. If you like it spicy, spice it up. If you don't, leave out. There's something in that that's list of uh, ingredients that I told you about. If you don't like it, just omit it. You don't have to use it. Some people just like all sage uh, in their um, sausage, and that's fine. You can do that. But we have our, our crumb, our uh, herbs and spices. We're just going to drop that in there. And then I've got my gloves on. And now we're just going to mix this to incorporate it really, really well. I was talking to someone who makes this, and they said, Arlene, when you start making this, you'll never buy it in a roll again or never buy it already made because this is so simple so easy and again like I said you can control what goes into it and how lean the pork would happen to be boy that's a nice looking cake mix Isn't it? very nice that butter makes it nice and rich instead of oil mm -hmm. which you normally would put in yeah everything's better with butter not oh, margarine yeah. but butter <laughs> Heck yeah yeah this is easy to throw together too which is nice very nice yes sir now, we're just going to keep mixing this while she's spreading that cake into that pan. And that's unusual because that only bakes for about 17 minutes. And then what you do, you bring it out and she's gonna make a crumb topping to go on that. Put the crumb topping on it and then it goes back in the oven to bake for some more time. So that's kind of cool, I like that idea. And it's easy to throw together, so it's not a big pain if you right. want to make it for breakfast. Sometimes you're rushing sure. around breakfast. Absolutely. There we go. And I'm just making patties. You know, you can make them as big or as little as you want. Just make a patty like that. Try to keep it formed nicely. I know. My kids would come nuts over them. They would. <laughs> okay, why don't we get here. rid of this? Get rid of this here. Get out and I'm going to bring my. Yeah. So much going on. We don't have room. I know. We, we're just full of all kind of <laughs> ideas today. Yeah. I need that little pan over here. Okay, I'll get it. One second. Let me okay. smooth this. You go ahead and I'll pop this I'll in the. Smooth. You in the corner enough over there? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to drop those down and let them start to cook. And you always want to make sure the pork cooks to 160 degrees because that's when it's safe to eat. So you don't want to be messing around and goofing up on that. You maybe need to turn that up a little higher. That oil? Sure. Yeah. We just put a little bit of oil in the bottom because um, we figure this is pretty lean. It might not cook go. so well. Okay. Well, this is something Big Andy would love. My oh, my son, go nuts! I think over everybody that. likes breakfast sausage. sausage. Oh my goodness, yeah. That or bacon or ham or Canadian bacon frying in the morning. Oh, what else could you it. want? Sorry, yeah. Pat. Why don't you put that on this, and then we'll I don't switch. have to. No, no, no. Just bring that over, over here. here. Yeah. There we go. Because I have another one. It's called um, stuffed blueberry French toast. <laughs> I want to get at it and get it started to, to being made. And you got the wrong go. one, dear. No, I was turning oh, that the, one okay. off and putting this one on. I could hear something clicking. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is two pounds. This is going to make, now you could make them smaller. Make them any size that you want. But yeah, they're perfect. Yeah, this will cook. We're going to keep an eye on them too, Patty. Okay. So that... Not a problem. And you're just doing the crumb topping yeah, for that. Yeah, all it is is four and a half cups of flour. Sorry, dear. <laughs> We're well, like we are working here. backwards here. This yeah. is like a, a I dance. Need a, I need a plate to put these in. Maybe vanilla. then. Vanilla? Okay. Yeah, put vanilla in here. Cinnamon, a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. Okay. And one and a third cups of brown sugar. That's packed. You want to make yeah. that packed solid right. so that it, it works. You can't beat that. Right. So let me go get a... Okay. Now, we're going to brown these off and, and cook them nice and slow once they get going there. I would put a little lid on them just to cook them through to make sure. And you get three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten patties with two pounds. Not bad. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah, that is good. Okay. 
I'm gonna leave that up to your care, okay? okay? I need to do a little maintenance here, but we don't have time, because I gotta get moving yeah, over here. Going. Okay, the next is this incredible stuffed blueberry French toast. I have cream cheese here, and I'm gonna add some chopped almonds. This is six tablespoons of chopped almonds, four tablespoons of light brown sugar, like this, and some freshly squeezed lemon juice. That's going in there, and this is gonna make the filling for the inside of the uh, French toast. And you just wanna mix this up really well. Make sure that everything gets blended. I love breakfast. There's just something about having I breakfast and the smell that yeah. and the fresh coffee that's going. and. Mm -hmm. And just, uh, it's a time of the day where you feel like there's hope for the day. It's not, it's mm -hmm. not all bad. It's going to be okay. Of course, as the day wears on, sometimes it's not, but you had that hope first thing in the morning. So, then, what we're going to do is take our bread, and we're going to just spread on both sides of the bread some of this cream cheese filling. Just like that on both slices, okay? And you wanna be pretty generous with it because there's something you have to do. And here's what you gotta do. You gotta take your fresh blueberries and pile them on there just like that. And then you have to press them into that cream cheese because that's what's gonna hold them on when they, get, when they take a bath. We're gonna bath them in eggs. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And I love French toast, and that's then, like my favorite. Yeah. And then you're going to take the other one, put it on top, and push it together. Now you're going to make eight of these. When we come back, we're going to show you the next step and start to cook them. We'll be back in just a minute. Well, the crumb cake's in the oven. The sausage is cooking. Patty's getting ready to start something else. We, we recruited Laurie, our associate producer. She's got the blueberry. I told you, look at this. Yeah. This is our blueberry stuffed French toast. Just put it on the griddle, and here's what it looks like when it's done. We will sandwich them in, press them together. This is your milk, you know, cinnamon, just a regular milk and eggs and stuff. Drop it in there, turn it over, make sure it gets nice and wet, and then you just drop it right on. Okay, these griddles are great for stuff like this. And look, we've got beautiful, how many? One, two, three, four, eight wonderful sandwiches. Now, when they get done, She's gonna drop them in a 200 degree oven to hold them. Patty, what are you doing over here? You got some green onions? The, yeah, I got green onions. You got a cake I got cake out, of the out in the oven. Okay. Onions cooking here. Okay. Just sauteing this up. Cause you're gonna make a corned beef omelet. These are just eggs. You're gonna need to turn that up a little higher. Yeah. Cause we gotta move. Get it going, yeah. right. I tell you, we're like, we are really busy here today and we were loving <laughs> it because we're giving you lots of ideas. While she's getting the, the onions to fry, Mine are called little mini cinnamon rolls. I love this recipe because it's so unusual, so different. And basically, you take 16 loaves, of, 16 loaves, 16 slices of bread, you cut the crust off, you take your rolling pin and roll over each one until they're flat. See how flat that is? Okay, so we have 16 slices. Now what we're gonna do with that, in a bowl, we're gonna have cream cheese, we're gonna prop an egg in there, three-fourths of a cup of sugar, like that. And we're gonna mix that together really well. Because this is gonna go onto each slice of bread. We're gonna roll it up. And then we're gonna dip it into butter. <laughs> and then we're gonna dip it into cinnamon. And bake them in the oven for just about 15 minutes or so, 16, 18 minutes. Oh my goodness, they're such a, a delicious thing, and the kids absolutely love them. And then you have to Just wait for the them. yeast to rise and all that crazy yeah, that's to make too cinnamon hard. rolls. Yeah. yeah, this is something a little different, easy. You know, sometimes you just get up on a Saturday morning and say, I want to do something special for the kids or for the family. This would be one you'd have the stuff in the house to do, probably. So we're just mixing this up. Make sure that your cream cheese is soft, because if it isn't, you're going to have a problem. This could be a little softer, but. We're gonna make try to make do with it. And do you Patty need a harder is, spoon? No, I'm okay. Patty, what are you oh you're uh, saute this, yeah. yeah. 
Okay, you can go ahead. My eggs. Okay. That's just six eggs. What you do is just scramble them all up with a little milk. First, she's going to make the omelet. And then once the omelet sets, she's going to drop the, the corned beef all over the top. Corned beef hash in a can. And then you top this with beautiful sliced tomatoes. Oh, my. That's a delicious addition to any breakfast table. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Not a problem. <laughs> It's just a quarter cup Everything of smells so good. Oh my goodness. I'm going to tell you. Loving it. Okay, you take these one at a time and just spread it out. And then you're going to roll it from point to point. All right, what is this? Does this look good to sure, you? Sure, go for it. Go for it. And you just roll it like that. Then you're going to dip this. Well, first of all, let me get my cinnamon and my sugar together. Excuse me, one minute, Patty. Mm -hmm. now I'm going to mix that up really well. This goes into a 350 degree oven. So you're really going to want to make sure that that's good and hot before you get started. Okay. So I dip it in the butter and then dip it in the cinnamon sugar just like that we're going to pop that onto our baking sheet that's going to bake like i said just a few minutes delicious that looks so clever delicious so easy yep easy very very easy something you can get the kids to help you with too probably yeah unless they're watching cartoons or something on a saturday <laughs> morning they may not want to do this they might not. okay again we're gonna i think i'm gonna roll it instead of corner to corner i think i like the idea just going straight. Let's see what that's like. Dip it in there, like so. All right, does this look almost set to put your corned yeah. beef hash well, on Well, you know it? what you want to do? do more? You want to keep pushing. Here's the way you make a good omelet. You keep pushing in the center. Any raw egg will come loose. That's pretty good. You're, you pretty much got it set. Yeah, Patty. But you keep pushing it. See, keep you got some raw it. stuff right. here. So you want that So you just out. want to, yeah. But okay. if it doesn't do it anymore, then you're probably there, and you go on to the next step. Okay. Okay, because we're going to put a lid on that anyway to uh, to get that to melt down yeah. really well. So you don't want to put into raw eggs. No, we well, never want to do that. You have no. to cook those thoroughly. Okay, smells wonderful over there. Lori's doing her thing. Well, those look really good. Uh huh. What's not to like, huh? Whoops. I love to do stuff like this. When you come back, we're going to be in the dining room. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to see a buffet for breakfast that you're not going to want to miss. Stay with us. But here's how you can get all the recipes today that you see, plus all the recipes from the whole month. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Don't forget, you have to get the recipes for this spread. Look at this table. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, beautiful, colorful, and such delicious food. We're gonna start down there. There's our homemade sausage. Look at those patties. Remember, 160 degrees, they have to be. They are so good, they caramelize on the bottom. That little bit of brown sugar in there caramelize them. You could make gravy with them if you wanted to. Awesome. Next to that, we have sliced tomatoes over top of our corned beef omelet, corned beef hash omelet. Easy, a pizza cutter will cut that into nice portions whenever you go to serve it. Next to that is our buttery cream, buttery crumb coffee cake. The patty, we just put a little glaze on top. Glaze. I love it. That thing is awesome because it tastes so buttery. That's the key. And then we've added some fresh fruit. And we, over here, look at this. These are our cinnamon rolls. They're I'm amazing. telling you, you have no idea what that tastes like. Everybody's going, mm, 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 in this whole place. Simple, easy to do. You can make them and make them and make them. You'd have plenty. And they're so simple. They, they bake in 16, 16 to 18 yeah. minutes, they're done. We just, we drizzle chocolate on some and some powdered sugar on the others. Next to it, look at this. This is our stuffed mm -mm. blueberry um, French toast. Oh, what could be better? Look at that. You put that on your plate. You can put a little pat of butter on top. You don't have to. If you want to put maple syrup, you can. If you want to eat it just like this, you can. Blueberry syrup on top mm -hmm. is awesome. Look at that, just delicious. Keep them hot in the oven if you're making a lot of them ahead of time. Then we just added some 
my Arlene's potatoes. Didn't have time to show you them today, but that's my potato, own potato recipe that I really like. We're gonna include that recipe for you even though you didn't get to see us make them. This is a huge table full of all kinds of goodies, something everybody would like on this. Oh, yes. I mean, what's not to like? We added some pineapple juice for something a little different instead of the orange and some good fresh coffee. All you need is you sitting right here at this place and it would be a completed table. There's always room for our friends, our at-home family. You're always welcome at our table anytime. And we're so happy that we can prepare things like this for you just to jog your thinking and say, what can I make something different? Patty just said to me, mm, looks like supper. You could have this for supper any day, any of this, because it's all good food. We love you. We thank God that you are our family. We thank you for watching. And please remember, go to church this week because it'll do you good all week long. And be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you. We'll see you then. Thanks, Patty. Well, thank you. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.